When you open Media Composer, you see several windows pop up. The first and possibly most important is the project window, which is the organizational hub of Media Composer. As you can see, there are multiple tabs, and we'll start with the settings tab. Like with any program, there are a number of settings that you can choose from, some more important than others, but we'll just take a quick look at the interface tab. Here you can make little cosmetic changes to the user interface like lightening or darkening the screen and changing the color of what you have highlighted. I'm just going to set this back to the default Media Composer look. Another good setting for getting started is Keyboard, which lets you see how your keyboard is mapped, which keystrokes do what effects. Learning the keyboard shortcuts and setting it up in the way that works best for you is paramount in Mastering Avid, but we'll worry about that later. You also have the Effects tab, which lists all of your video and audio effects and transitions. The Format tab lets you double check and make sure that you have your project set to the right resolution and frame rate. Usage, Info, and Volumes, you don't need to worry about. But Bins, the first tab, is really the heart of the software. Bins are how you organize all of your media. You'll make unique bins for video, audio, titles, graphics, anything that you need in your project. You can create a new bin by right-clicking and selecting New Bin, or you can just press Command-N on your keyboard. It's important to give your bins unique names and not just use the default titles. The better your bins are organized, the better time you'll have using Media Composer.